I'm Bapti, I'm a seismologist at the British Geological Survey in Edinburgh. Okay, just looking at the graph here, just give us some indication of how it compares to the last two big quakes. Okay, so to try and put this earthquake in perspective, what you see here are the ground motions recorded in Edinburgh from three recent earthquakes. The top line shows you the earthquake that occurred in Haiti on the 12th of January last year and had a magnitude of 7.1. The middle line shows last month's Christchurch earthquake, a magnitude of 6.3. And the bottom line shows the magnitude 8.9 Honshu earthquake that occurred this morning. And what you see is that the signal from this earthquake is tens of times larger than the signal from the Haiti earthquake and in comparison the signal from the New Zealand earthquake is thousands of times smaller and in fact the New Zealand earthquake was something like 8,000 times smaller in terms of energy release. If we look at the scales here what you can actually see is that each unit on here is something like a millimetre so this signal recorded in Edinburgh is something like half a centimetre of ground displacement recorded here over a period of several minutes, of course, so it wouldn't be felt by anybody, but it does give you some idea of the scale of ground motions, even on the other side of the world. So if you project that back to Japan, you start to get some idea of how much larger the ground motions would have been there. That's great. That's